Hey everybody, I wanted to teach you all what your hair type is and just explaining the different kinds of hair types that are out there. So I know that many of you may already know your hair type and some of you may not, but as I'm going on my natural hair journey, I'm always picking up more information about different things and I also want to just give back things that I already know. So let's jump into it. So just to let you know with all hair types, our hair type falls into the major categories of type 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now type 1 hair is hair that is naturally straight and type 4 hair all the way over to this side is hair that is more naturally kinky. So I'm going to further explain these hair types in a different subcategory so you can actually understand your hair better. So down here in the classifications, or you can say subcategories, you have a subcategory of A, B, and C in each hair type except for type 1 hair. The reason why type 1 hair doesn't have a classification of A, B, and C is because it is hair that is straight and it has no type of curl or wave to it. If it does have any type of curl or wave to the hair, then it starts to fit in category 2. So here on this list that I've made of type 1, 2, 3, and 4 hair is just a uh, visual explanation of what each type of hair will look like. Type 1 hair would be straight, type 2 hair would be wavy, type 3 would be curly, and type 4 would be kinky. Type 4 is still curly, it's just, you know, commonly known as kinky hair because it's more tighter curl than type 3 hair. So the difference you can tell between type 1 hair and type 2 hair is if your hair doesn't have any curl or any type of wave at all, you are strictly type 1 hair, which has no subcategories of A, B, and C. And type 1 hair is usually people who are Caucasian or um, like Chinese or any kind of Asian descent or uh, European descent like that. So type 2 hair is wavy hair. It doesn't have any curls in it. It's majority of your hair is wavy. So majority of your hair is wavy. You fit more into a type 2 hair and you can definitely tell the difference between type 1 because your hair is in mostly straight strands naturally. So then we move on to type 3 hair and type 3 hair is curly hair ranging from a loose curl to a really deep curl and you can definitely tell the difference between type 3 hair and type 2 hair because type 2 hair is wavy for the most part without any curls and type 3 hair is mostly curly. So if your hair starts to actually form curls in its natural state, if it looks to be actually curly, you are type 3. But if your hair more appears to be wavy than an actual curl pattern, you are a type 2. And then now we move on to type 4 hair. And my hair happens to be a type 4 hair. But as you see here, this is just a protective wig on my head. So type 3 hair is curly as I've stated and type 4 hair is curly as well but is also mostly known as kinky hair because the coils are very very close together almost like a spring. So type 3 hair is more of a wider bigger curl than type 4. Now with these two categories it's very easy to tell between the difference of this picture, but as you go more into depth in the subcategories, which I'm going to show you in just a little bit, it may be a little tricky when you're figuring out, well, okay, am I type 3C or type 4A? So now I'm just going to further explain the different subcategories that each of these may fall into. So here I've drawn out this pretty full picture of the different hair types that you see from 2, 3, and 4, and we already know why type 1 isn't on here. So with type 2 hair, you have subcategories of A, B, and C. A being the more looser type in the category of 2, and C being the most tighter in the category of 2, as well as the same thing applies for A, B, and C in type 3 hair and type 4 hair. So on type 2 hair, your hair is wavy, simple as that. It may be a slight wave, it may be a deep wave, but if it has any curl at all, you are not in the type 2, you would be in the type 3 category of hair type. So if your hair type is a type 3, you know for a fact because your hair has curls. Whether the curls are tight or loose, that's your hair type. If it's mostly wavy, you fit into category 2. Now with category 4, this hair is also curly, but it's more kinky. It's kinky in the sense that the curls are actually tightly compacted to each other. So it appears to be more kinkier than curly hair when it's still curly anyways. So from 4A, the kinks are a little bit more looser, and to 4C, the kinks are very, very tight. 
Now at a distance, 4C hair looks like a afro, just a straight up kinky afro. And most people, you know, have their negatives about it just because 4C hair is always looked upon to be the ugliest hair type or not the most tasteful. But it is a very beautiful hair type. And when you look at the actual individual strands up closer, you see this such a beautiful curl pattern. So if you may fit into this four category, don't be ashamed, you know, because type three hair and type two hair is pretty and beautiful, but this hair is just as beautiful. It may look a little bit different, it may even be tighter or even maybe hard to deal with in some cases, but it's a very distinct kind of hair and it's beautiful and it could be trained in the way that you do and you style your hair as well as these other types like type three and type two. So the biggest way to tell the difference between type three hair and type four hair is that type four hair is way more tighter than type three hair. Two categories are about the hardest categories for people to figure out what their hair type is. So if you may fall into type three or type four, you can you will definitely be comparing your hair to other girls just to see what pattern they mostly fit into and that'll kind of help you determine what pattern you fit into as well now the reason why this all matters you know people say oh who cares about hair types it's not even a big deal you know whether my hair is a 3c 3b or 4a 4c it doesn't even matter in a way it does matter because the more curlier and coilier your hair is the more moisture your hair requires to be healthy 4C is the most driest of hair types just because of the way that it's shaped and the way that it is, the texture itself. So the hair naturally has an oval pattern, which is a shape that has tension spots on it. Type 2 and type A hair is more of a uh, circular um, structure to the hair follicles, so it's more stronger of a hair type. Even though 4C, 4B, you know, these category of hair between 3 and 4 may seem like maybe the roughest hair to deal with or maybe the hardest to manage, just because it may feel necessarily stronger doesn't mean it's that strong. These curls um, naturally just have tension spots on it. You have these very, very delicate areas, even on the individual strands itself. So you have to be very careful when you are detangling your hair, handling your hair, washing your hair. So for those of you um, who may uh, not understand which hair type you may fall into, this is definitely a good reference to come back to for this video. So make sure you favorite it so that you can always refer back to and reflect on what your hair type may be. Since the four category of hair is the most kinkiest or the most tightest curled hair, it requires definitely a lot more moisture and you know just oil and condition than hair that may be a three, a two, or a one. You know, I always wonder like why is it that you know, um, like you know, European people or white people or Chinese people doesn't necessarily have to even use oil in their hair for the most part. Some do. But for majority, all they need to do is basically wash their hair and condition their hair because their hair is even sometimes oily and it doesn't even, they don't even need to apply any oil to their hair. And that's just because of the way that their hair is structured. Their hair is a circular follicle and it just is just a stronger in that sense to where there isn't much weak spots into their hair. So their hair has more luster and shine, but you can definitely achieve that with type three category and type four category hair. As you go up this scale, you have to, usually to maintain your hair to keep it healthy, you have to apply some type of moisture, whether it's a leave-in conditioner or a oil or a water-based type of conditioner for your hair. Type three curly hair, usually they can't just shampoo and go without their hair being dry. That's just naturally how their hair is. So they might apply very, very light oil, like light coconut oil or uh, light almond oil or even just a leave-in conditioner would be just fine. But as you go up to type four category hair, you require um, sometimes even a much thicker leave-in conditioner or a more heavier oil for your hair to help retain the moisture. And you retain moisture just by sealing your hair with an oil or a type of conditioner to seal in the water inside of your follicles. So with that being said, 4A to 4C hair definitely requires a lot of upkeep on moisture and oil and condition so that your hair is as healthy as it can be without being dry. So now I just want to show you all some further examples if you still have a difficulty figuring out what your hair type is. As you can see, this is a wig that I made 
like such a long time ago. I want to say like uh, oof, the beginning of this year and it didn't look too fly on me. It was just too short for me. It just it just didn't work out. It'll probably My grandma would probably appreciate this wig a lot more than I did. This hair is definitely curly, distinct curls. It's not wavy at all, especially if you look more up close. And because I had cut the hair, it may seem wavy, but it's actually curly, as you can see there. So now with this chart that I've made, you can definitely figure out where this fits into. So since the hair is not wavy, it won't fit into the type two category, but it will fit into the type 3 category because type 3 hair is curly. So this curl isn't as tight, so of course it doesn't fit into 3C or 3B, but fits more into 3A. Now you will more along tell the difference between 3A, 3B, and 3C, especially if you're in that category of hair because you'll be, you know, comparing your hair to different girls and you can just tell. You will just be able to fill out which hair type you fit more into. But for generally speaking, moisture levels in type 3 hair is okay for the most part. You just need to maintain that with just a little bit of leave-in or a little bit of light oil to keep your hair as healthy as possible. So this is another wig that I created and it is a curly wig, it's not wavy at all. You can definitely see those curls inside of the wig. And this was just for an experiment. I had actually never worn it because my mannequin head was just too small at the time and it just was blast. So this was definitely a lesson learned and it's just so pretty. I like the way it's two-tone in color and I'm gonna use this to compare to the chart for those of you who may have curly hair. So on our chart, we definitely know that this is not a type two because this is wavy hair. This could be a type 3 because this is curly hair and it could be a type 4 because type 4 hair is also curly. So when I compare this wig to this chart, I can see that it's not really loosely curled. So it wouldn't be a 3A, wouldn't be a 3C, it would be more like a 3B. Now if you're looking at this you might be like oh, clearly it's a 3C or clearly it's a 3A but as you go along on your hair journey or just um, learning about different hair types you will definitely be able to tell the difference and know which category this falls into. And from my opinion and also based on the chart that I've drawn I would definitely say that this hair fits into the 3B category. And now we're going to get on to my hair type so I can even show you an example of hair that fits into the 4 category of hair. So here is my strand of hair as you see right here and it looks a little jagged and whatever you know but this is product free hair that I dried out. Now it's in order to figure out what your hair type is all you have to do is take a strand of hair that may have uh, fell out or you don't have to pluck it from your hair just take a dead uh, strand of hair and what you want to do is soak it in a cup of water or if it doesn't have any product just straight it out on a paper towel so it can get dried out and then you can compare what your your hair um, texture fits into. So of course my hair is more of a kinkier strand and not as loosely curled as you see this three category like 3C and things like that. So it fits more into the category four of hair and since it's not a looser kink or a zigzag kink it's more of a very very tight coil this is what my hair type fits into. When my hair is dry in its natural state, product free, and it's combed out, it looks like a huge afro, so I know that this is definitely 4C hair. So I hope you all love this video, like this video, and definitely come back and refer to it if you want to help explain your hair type to people or you just want to come back to it for reference. So I'll see you all in my next one, and thanks for watching.